What's going on guys? So today we're reviewing the Nathan Stealth Jacket. So let's jump right into it. So first off I want to talk about the purpose of the jacket and it's kind of mentioned in the name Stealth but essentially it is a lightweight jacket built for those warmer months where you don't want to wear a heavy thicker jacket that's just going to add more heat to you when it's already warm outside. You want something lightweight, it's going to deal with the moisture, the rain, the drizzle outside and also deal with any kind of wind conditions you're going to be facing. So with that said let's talk about the material. It is a 100% nylon body and I think that just makes this thing incredibly lightweight because that was something I noticed immediately was it is just you know, light as a feather. The other thing is the material is DWR treated. Now all that really means is that as the water is coming down on it, you are just going to see kind of the droplets just sitting on the material rather than soaking in. And so it's not gonna get overly heavy and wet and just kind of stick to you. The idea is that the water is just going to kind of shed off the material and allowing you to kind of keep running rather than just feeling this discomfort. Now, if it's raining hard enough, throw all that out the window. But that's the idea behind this material. The jacket has one zip pocket on the left chest, which is a good size for probably keys, gel, or something small. You could fit a phone in there, but I don't know if I would. And then a few other touches that I like that they added are the thumb holes on each sleeve, which is nice for keeping the sleeve in place. And then the ventilated cuts in the back, just adding again to keep this thing light and allowing for that airflow to keep it breathable in those warmer uh, running conditions. And if you're not wearing a hat or you just want more protection, there is a hood that you can throw on and a little cinch cord in the back to just make sure it has a form fit. And the last thing about this is it does pack up into that same chest pocket. So it just kind of packs up in there. You can zip it shut, which is great for transporting it, throwing it in a running pack, and for anyone that's on the go. So how did the jacket perform? And I put it through a number of different runs. Uh, anytime it was kind of drizzling or raining, I was like, let me grab this thing so I can really put it through the test and see how it did. So first, let's address how it deals with rain. Now, I don't care what a brand promises a light jacket like this is never going to be able to handle moderate to heavy rain. It's just not going to happen. It's going to soak into the material. You're going to get wet. It is what it is. But when it comes to the light rain, the drizzle kind of conditions that I put it through, it felt phenomenal. I, I barely even noticed that I was wearing the jacket. I was dry the entire time. The only time I even remembered I was wearing the jacket was when I had my thumbs in the little sleeves and I could feel the material rub in my palm. But besides that, it felt airy. It felt like all I had on was like a t-shirt for the most part. And the other thing I liked about it was it wasn't obviously weighing me down, but the other thing, it, was, it wasn't making me overly warm because it is a long sleeve. If I'm wearing this in 70, 80 degrees and it's humid outside, I don't want to add on another layer that's just going to make me more hot. So I like how airy, how light it is. I don't have any complaints or worries at all when it comes to this thing being overly warm or not breathable. Now what I like about this jacket probably the most, and it's not really even related to the performance of it, is how nice and easily it packs up into the pocket. And I know that might sound goofy, it's not a revolutionary idea, a ton of other jackets and brands have been doing it for years if not decades, but they do it very well in this jacket. And I'll give you an example, I have an Arcteryx down jacket, and to get that thing in its pocket, I have to muscle it in, stuff it as tight as possible, and even then the zipper they use just feels fragile. Versus this, it comfortably fits in there, I don't have to use every ounce of my body to fit this thing in overly snug. It fits in there easily. And also I like that they used a YKK zipper so I don't have to worry about it breaking. There's some integrity with the durability of this pocket. So this makes it easy for me to travel with it, throw it in my car, throw it in my running vest, and I know it's not gonna weigh me down and it's always there in case I'm going out and I see it's a cloudy day, I'll be like, damn, I'm glad I brought my jacket because it's easy to just throw in there and not even worry about it. So overall, what do I think about the jacket? I think for $90, you're getting a killer value. I think every runner should get this type of jacket, whether it is Nathan or whether it's a different brand, just because you're bound to run into those April showers, those rainier conditions in the spring and summer, and you don't wanna throw on a heavy, thick sweatshirt or jacket that's just gonna make you feel weighed down, you're gonna feel overheated, you want something light, you want something breathable, and I think a jacket like this offers that for 90 bucks, it's not too expensive, and uh, I think everyone could benefit from this, unless you're just gonna say, the hell with running in the rain, I'm just gonna go on a treadmill. Then, maybe you don't need it. 
All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions about the jacket at all, please comment below and I'll get back to you. Like the video, subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.